What food seemed completely fine until you realize how it's actually made. When I was growing up my grandma used to make this amazing apple salad dessert thing. I loved it growing up. One year I wanted to make it for myself as an adult and I asked her the recipe. Turns out it was just apples, mayo and sugar. Reminds me of my grandpa's sweet and sour meatballs. It's meatballs mixed in a sauce that's made with only ketchup and grape jelly. It's oddly really good. Imitation crab. It's fish paste with eggs, a bunch of additives and colorings. Which makes sense. The weird part is watching the two colors of extruded paste get stretched out and wrapped around each other. Like fish taffy. Hot dog of the sea. My wife's aunt made a mushroom soup that she had me try. Supposed to be super healthy and tasty. I tried it. It was okay and then she showed me the mushrooms. Fking caterpillars that had cordyceps. I'll see y'all later as patient zero. A lot of people enjoy shark fin soup and maybe some don't realize what the fishermen do to get the fins. Look up video if you want but they bring the shark on board, cut off all the fins, and chuck it back still alive to writhe and float and suffer. The crazy thing is, is that it offers zero nutritional value whatsoever. It's like a status thing. I honestly don't care how something is made as long as it's safe to eat and tastes good. For instance I don't care that chicken nuggets are made from scraps because they are safe and taste good. In fact I think it's great that they have found ways to use the parts people normally don't like and have turned them into something many people enjoy. It would be a huge waste to throw it all out and have to make nuggets from all white meat. We'd need way more chicken farms and the prices would be a lot higher. I feel the same when people complain about Wendy's using the patties that were on the heater past the time they allow in the chili. It's still perfectly safe to eat, just dry, which is why putting it in chili makes perfect sense. It still tastes good, is safe, and they found a way to reduce waste which I'm all for. In Poland we have a dish that's called flaki which literally means guts. It's a soup made of cow stomach. Many people don't want to even think about it but I think it's delicious. As a baker, puff pastry, not because it's gross or something, it's just a long involved process that can break you if you let it i've made it once took hours because if it started to warm up i would refrigerate it again now i just buy it the difference between homemade and raw store bought is negligible with everything i tend to add to it around it not worth the three showers it took while off putting i see no problems with some of the scraps we eat it's perfectly fine to me that i'm eating the scraps of chicken and chicken nuggets gelatin from bones and ligaments the reject pieces of animal being used to make so many great foods or items. People want to say the natives had the right idea, using every part of the animal, but suddenly turning around to say eating black pudding is disgusting. I feel better knowing that we used every ounce of that cow. The cow didn't die in vain. The cow was used for milk. Once done with that stage sold for meat. The meat market sells the bones for dog bones, gelatin, beef stock, literally anything else nothing goes to waste don't get me wrong the treatment from cow to meat and then the food waste alone is problematic but that's not what the thread is about we use every part of every item excuse me i have nuggets in the oven that are ready if we're going to kill for food we mustn't waste a lick veal is pretty effed up i saw a veal farm at age 16 and have never touched it Seeing those cute little calves chained to little igloo houses for their entire short lives really made me sad. I was surprised to learn from people who've worked on farms just how bloody harvesting crops is. There's not really a good way to clear out wild animals so all of them get ripped to shreds by the heavy machinery moving through the fields. I miss being able to assume no animals died making my produce, having farmed for years. Most animals run dig from the big loud machinery if it makes you feel any better. It's usually small pests such as mice and gophers, not antelope or birds. A friend of mine is a grain farmer. He tells me he usually gets a couple young coyotes a year tangled up in his combine. The smart ones run parallel to the combine picking off all the rodents that the combine noise scares up. The dumb ones end up having to be scraped out of the combine. Cheese whiz. It's transparent until they add the orange coloring. I don't know why but that makes me know about. Not like cheese was is a salad or anything. Don't get me wrong. But I don't think I fully comprehended just how fake it was until I found that out. 
I live in Korea and they eat live octopus here. What makes this worse is there's increasing knowledge on the subject to say that octopus are capable of feeling despair after being injured. They have a mind similar to that of a dog. I love Worcestershire sauce, but seeing it made is kinda gross. Hold up, what is it made from? Fermented molasses, barley malt, vinegar, anchovies, and some other stuff like garlic and spices. I don't see anything wrong with it personally. Gummy bears or just gummies in general. Took me 19 years to find out that the way they are made is with pig carcasses and bones. Lol. That's why Jello isn't vegetarian. Well I mean what else ya gonna do with pig bones? Squid in terms of how they are caught. How are they caught? Kinda like an inverse Iron Maiden. They get stuck to the spikes and as they thrash around to try and get free they get more stuck. Not very humane. Foie gras. My culinary school took me to a foie gras farm. Even though it's tasty I don't eat it anymore. What is it? It's duck liver. Only the ducks are force fed a lot to make the liver tender. I gather it's very painful for the ducks. Black pudding is a common breakfast food. But kinda messed up when you think about how it's made. What's black pudding? It's basically pig's blood. Some fats and oats. Traditionally served as part of a full breakfast. Not that I would eat it anyways but that goose duck egg that is cooked with a live chick inside. Obviously the chick dies. Ballot. Lobster. I'm not a chef but does it really have to die like that? How hard can it be to stab it or cut its head off or something so it's not alive when thrown into boiling water? I've got no issues with eating meat but I don't think it should be barbaric. We're an intelligent species. And a moral one. Supposedly. We should give these creatures a good quality of life and a swift. Painless death or at least try to. I think some people have started this practice actually. They stab it in the back of the head before putting it in the boiling water. Kopi Luwak or Weasel Coffee. It is pretty much coffee. However, instead of using coffee beans that were harvested in more common ways, like hand picking, Kopi Luwak uses coffee beans that were defecated by palm civets, located in Indonesia. These weasel-like mammals consume coffee cherries as part of their diets and, through some very complex processes during digestion, they ferment the coffee cherries and thus defecate a coffee bean of peculiar flavors. Not only is this utterly terrifying, but unfortunately due to the demand and craze around it, producers are caging civets and force-feeding them countless amounts of cherries basically ruining their diets and lives. I had it once. And after knowing how it was made I had to rush to the nearest restroom. It ruined coffee for me for a few years. Honey is bee vomit. Kissing bees must be sweet. Yeah like jazz. Orange juice. The kind in the refrigerator aisle. Not because it is disgusting or anything. But because it is basically old franken juice. All the labels such as fresh squeezed. Not from concentrate. And pure are only true in the most obtuse ways. Did some at work at the old Tropicana factory in Bradenton. FL once upon a time. Yeah, pretty much this. Hated it because the id office was right next to where the oranges by the truckload were dumped into big holding bins. Took me multiple showers to get the smell out of my hair every day. Any fermented food. My food preservation professor said that the line between fermented and spoiled was a matter of cultural preference before the modern era. It's pretty normal to enjoy the fermented foods of your own culture and be grossed out by the foods of another's. Almond milk not for how it's made but the destruction to the environment it causes to California. In case people are thinking that almond milk is worse than dairy, a 2018 study conducted by the University of Oxford found that when compared to dairy milk, all plant-based alternatives produced significantly less carbon emissions including almond milk. Further, according to Yale's Journal of Industrial Ecology, almond production has a carbon footprint that is 10 times smaller than what is produced from dairy milk. I discovered a video of poverty-stricken Filipino people making pag pag. It's so effing sad and they eat it regularly. I thought I liked eating figs until I read about fig wasps, f figs, on the opposite end. I didn't really like figs before, but after I found out about the wasp thing, it made me feel like rage eating figs just to stick it to the wasps. Hot dogs. I've seen how they're made. I still love hot dogs. Reminds me of the time I asked for a soft taco at Taco Bell and they told me our meat hose is down. Still eat there regularly though. I worked as a butcher for a year. 
so not much phases me, but know the off chance you actually like liver. Don't ever take a look at what it looks like before it's chopped up and trayed. It basically looks and behaves like blood yellow with a brown mold skin around it and that's not even counting if it's been denuded. Essentially all meat and dairy.